thanks for hanging out with me. It's time, Volkswagen ID4. Let's do consumption test. It's December, what is it, December 10th? <laughs> it's, I think, one degree or so. It's misty, everything's wet, but this car is the heat pump. I will not drive without heat. I will have the heat on, and but only driver only and to 23, 22 and a half degrees. I know it's maybe not your setting, but that's how I drive and I want to drive that way. I just found a route. I'm around Wolfsburg outside. I found a route that I will, I'm right here on the highway. We'll go one direction, turn around and come back here. And then we'll see what the consumption is. I will go with uh, travel assist, so adaptive cruise control two at 110. And then we do another round with 130. And uh, let's see what the consumption is. Uh, let's look in the car where my state of charge is. I really don't know. And then I show you how to reset everything because in the new ME2 software, uh, it's different. I'm at 59%. That's pretty good. Um, I will reset my trip. Um, what is it? One and a half degrees since start. Reset. And it works. And the heat pump right now takes one point. Ooh, and it's kilowatt hours per hour. They changed that. I haven't seen that. <laughs> I have to, didn't say that in the video. Um, I will set it again when I start. And I have my navigation already on. That's true. Put it in here and I will see it in the head up display as well. And I will use the augment reality part as well. That's really nice. But again, reset it again and then I go. I'm on my way. Uh, I had to have the speed on 113 because that's 110 kilometers an hour GPS speed. Just started three kilometers. Consumption, of course, is not correct. Uh, three kilometers. I had to accelerate up to the highway and everything. It's pretty busy. I will try to keep the speed as constant as possible, but that's not always working the way that I want it to. I should tell you my settings, by the way. I have 21 and a half degrees in the climate, only driver, and I have the car in eco, just to be sure. And it's less busy here, that's good. 16 kilometers, and I turn around and drive to the same point where I started. It should be around 60 kilometers, I think 56 or so. I turned around, it's only 11 kilometers or 12 to where I came from. So far, consumption is pretty high. Well, 230 at this, and I have the heat on 22, but eco mode. And we used 14%. I have to calculate all of this at home. You know me. <laughs> can't think right now. And I just found the navigation problem, why it didn't add the why I didn't add the charging station. I found it now. There's an, there's an extra option in there. Somebody tinkered <laughs> with the thing. It's so busy. It, it will be hard to do the 130 um, because there are some stretches that have a 100 kilometers an hour speed limit. But I try. here my stats 22 uh, 224 average speed is not that great again a lot of traffic and we used 18 percent to drive i didn't 
reset this? No, of course not. To drive 56 kilometers, I will put in here what Google Maps says, and I think it was 56 as well. But let's look at the, the wheels, because I totally forgot about that, to show you what wheels the car has. Pirelli. It's win winter tires, but where's the dimensions? It's 20 inch winter tires. Can you see that somewhere a bit nice, uh, nicer? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now let's do the 130 kilometers an hour test. I just had a bit of food. Uh, we start at 41%. I will reset my trip. And then we do the exact same thing, 22 degrees. In Eco, I have to see if I can drive 133 kilometers an hour on this speedometer. It's possible I have to uh, switch to Comfort for a sec. I'm on my way, everything cooled, speed is, 100, is set to 133, um, this is 130 kilometers an hour GPS speed, like it should be, the same as in my car, nothing different, and so let's just drive and see how it goes, I know that there are a few kilometers of 100 zones, where I have to slow down. I have the travel assist on. Yeah, button is down here. Yeah, I totally forgot. I wanted to ask if Plus, First Edition Plus, can buy that. Is this a software thing or a hardware thing? Can a Plus or a First get the, get the travel assist? Still don't know. I've driven 20 kilometers, consumption is going down and down. I can feel there's a lot of wind. I think it's coming from the side, but since we're going in one direction and back, it should even out. <laughs> I think so, I hope so. I'm doing 110 right now because it's a 100, and 100 zone. So average speed won't be that amazing. This stops, but on the way back, it's the same thing again. Just turn around. I can hear the wind. I think it's it, it's the wind is coming from the front. So not tailwind. The other thing. <laughs> I'm stupid. It's okay. 24 kilometers back to where we started. Let's look at our stats. 20, 262 and our 29 percent. So we used 12 percent so far. So if it stays the same, we use 24. Let's keep going, and we'll see. It is so busy, so many trucks on three lanes. Oh my God, 10 kilometers to get off. So almost there where I have to go to the starting point. My stats so far. I had the seat heater on on one now. I don't think it does anything. Um, Yes, let's go on. And here we are, 253, and we used uh, 22% of the battery, that's good, but this run again wasn't amazing, it's a lot of traffic and so many times 
uh, um, uh, at 100 zone or anything. It's just uh, I had to use something here <laughs> around the kilometers is the same, so that worked. Look, the, the, the heat pump is taking over one kilowatt. I have to heat up the car a bit. I'm cold. <laughs> it was a bit too cold for me. Ah, uh, but it was interesting. It was good. That's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.